Hey guys, this is Pit Master. We're back with another Tops episode. This is episode number 12. Alright then. <laughs> it's not a chocolate, I thought Chuck O'Connor was doing that. Anyway. This next Tops episode is going to be from Insane Gamers. My, um, my top, my top favorite cartoon theme songs. Now, this is a top 10 because, um, I can think of five right away and not be like top number one, two, three, four, and five. So I thought, technically I thought 12 because, however, I want to do top 10 and then leave the other two final mentions. Anyway, here he goes. Number 10, technically this isn't a theme, not an intro theme, but it's because I consider it a theme song. Um, you know the, the ending theme song to Italia? Um, yeah, that is probably the most epicest, epicest ending music I've ever heard of. Because, um, it has, like, it has, what, 18 variants? Only, like, a few, like, about half or less of them are actually used. No, less than half of them are actually used. Um, yeah, I'll just... I don't know what to do, so, yeah. Oh, by the way, um... Mo actually, these are these are actually banned on YouTube since they're um, technically third parties. So sorry, you can't hear on YouTube, but go try to find it on somewhere else. Number nine, the themes the theme is the Generator Rex. This is also actually a lot of these a lot of these um things are pretty recent. So I'm just gonna say I'll tell you this, Generator Re Generator Rex. Actually, I find a weird show, but has a, a really epic theme music. I can I, I can I can really like I really enjoy the theme song to that to this song to this um show. Number eight, you may think it's kind of weird, but face it, you can hear the intro and just say it's awesome and think that and think the show is pretty bad. Marvel Superhero Squad. This is I, again I find it a really odd show. Well, compared to what's going on number five, but this show is pretty weird. And since the fact that this is Marvel and Spider Man's not in it, although supposedly it's supposed to be in it in the second season, but I haven't watched it at all because it's gone too early for me to wake up on. But the intro of it is so epic. I'll tell you, it's epic theme music to a not so not so epic show. Number seven is Yu Gi Oh! 5Ds. Now, the, actually, this is probably the only Yu Gi Oh! series I would actually enjoy watching. Now, yeah, I haven't watched Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 ds in a long, long while, but I still think the, the theme music to it is pretty cool. I don't know if it changed the theme music by now, because I haven't watched Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 ds in a while, but whatever. I just think this is a really cool theme. Number six is the um, the intro to Pokemon Season 1. Face it, that's, that's the theme music everyone knows. If you know any of uh, Pokemon theme music, this is the one everyone knows about. I mean, forget the other ones. If you know just one, it's this one. Number five, well, I just referenced it number eight. Number five is, this is a, a really, really recent show. That just only a few episodes of it are out. The intro music to Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes. This, I don't know, I, I just think this is a really cool theme to a really cool show. So, props to that. <laughs> yeah, I think that is, yeah, again... I would actually go search on YouTube that theme music, and I actually would listen to it pretty well. That's that's how that's how cool this the meat this is here. Now number four, even more so than number five, the first intro to Code Geass. Now, yeah, Code Geass. <laughs> you think oh this is an anime, not like a cartoon, but then again neither is Pokemon, neither is Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds. But um, this is the um, a really good intro to a really good show, Code Geass. Now, everyone watched Code Yes knows that the first intro to it, just the first intro, and maybe no, 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 like I think one of the intro, but the first intro to Code Yes is awesome, more awesome than any given Naruto it, um, intro. I was gonna put um, the the fourth and the fourth, eighth, and probably sixth intro to Naruto in here, but they're not as good as either the one of those ten. Number three is the intro to Total Drama, you know, Total Drama Island and its sequels. Now, the only thing I don't like about it, which, I, I don't know why I even put it number three, I should have put it like number seven, is that, well, it's been used for all three seasons so far. However, I, I still do enjoy the theme music to Total Drama Island. 
So, yeah. Actually, actually, actually like, the, like, the second or third thing I actually remembered on... Because I was typing things on Word, and the third thing came, third thing came to my mind was the whole drama. So, yeah, that's a big thing here. Number two, again, it's an, it's an old show. The intro music to Rocket Power. Oh, yeah. That is, that is an epic theme music. Too bad, too bad, this is a long since dead show. And number one, and number one even more so. Okay, so I'm not going to say much about Rocket Power, because it, it's a pretty decent show with a pretty good intro. Now, number one, it's even more decent, it's just as decent show as Rocket Power, but with the theme music, you just can't, you can't forget. The, this is the first, you know, when I, when I was I'm talking about idea for the cartoon theme music, this is the first one that came to mind. The intro music to Angry Beavers. Oh, yeah. I wonder if I'm putting that background music right now. But this is the most epicest theme music to a really decent, if not mediocre, show. This, yeah, this is, this is really, really awesome. Yeah, I actually remember the whole theme to it. Because that has no words on it, so, yeah. So, and the, and the two, uh, and two uh, honorable mentions, other than Naruto, of course, are the intro music to Samurai Jack... And Duck Dodgers. Now, the only reason why I put Duck Dodgers is because I actually listened to it not long ago, so it's the f it's like immediate memory. But Samurai Jack, man, it has the most most unfitting theme music to a show I've ever I've ever heard, or I've ever yeah, most unfitting music. Think about it. Samurai Jack is supposed to be oh, some guy wants to return home, and Samurai Jack himself is a really serious hero stuck into. Like a really serious Japanese guy, serious stuck in the future. However, the theme music is anything but traditional. <laughs> it's more of a rap. Like how how does that work? It's so unfitting. But yeah, that that's what I call it honorable mention. So yeah, that is all for this tops episode. Here's a recap right over there. And um yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tops episode where I do whatever. <laughs>